Hey, what is up guys? It is your boy Kingdom Soldier and I'm back again with the Kingdom Story episode 8. Uh, it's really late at night so I'm not going to be all loud and crazy like I normally am. Uh, but I, I this is an easy part of the story for me to tell. And so uh, I shouldn't have a problem telling it without going crazy. Uh, so basically we left off with me going into my junior year of high school. Transferred that summer of 1996 up to... Washington State and uh, it was a bit of a culture shock it was very hard for me to adjust in my junior year my uncle helped me to focus more on my grades and do better and I ended up having I think it was like a B minus C plus average going into my senior year of high school now my junior year I was just doing what my uncle said and trying to adjust to Washington and make friends. I had no friends. I mean, you guys can imagine, halfway through high school, I got uprooted and sent two states up, uh, very far from all of my friends that I had spent probably about six years or so making, because uh, I was an army brat, so I traveled all over the <clears throat> country. <clears throat> Sorry. So when I was uh, going to be a senior... I had to, of course, sit down with the senior advisor that was going to tell me what classes I needed to take in order to graduate on time. And so basically, you know, for some kids that focus their whole high school career on their classes, they were told, well, you can take four classes all year long and you'll be fine. You're going to graduate on time. You don't need to take any more PEs. You know, you're done with math. You can be done with science, depending on what school you wanted to go to. And the senior advisor, you know, he asked you, like, what do you want to do? Where do you want to go to school? Do you want to go into the military? Blah, blah, blah. Here's what you're going to need. So the senior advisor sits me down and he says, hey, so, um, <clears throat> so, so you're ready to you know, buckle down for the next two years, and I was like, yeah, and I thought, you know, he's talking about, like, you know, my senior year and my freshman year of college, you know, and I'm like, so what do I need to, he's like, well, you know, I'm, I'm sure you've accepted the fact that you're going to graduate a year behind all your friends with your little brother, and I was like, what did you just say? He said, you're going to graduate with your brother. Your brother is a junior here, right? And I said, yeah, he just moved up here because my brother had moved up halfway through the year and lived with my uncle as well. Because right when I left California, literally the day after I left, uh, he, him and his buddy stole their, his buddy's mom or dad's girlfriend's car while they were sleeping. And my brother was driving, didn't have a license because he was 14, and drove over a bush and through someone's fence. <laughs> and so the cops ended up grabbing him. Uh, nobody pressed charges or anything, but he got in trouble, you know. And uh, he <clears throat> he kind of, my brother kind of went mad, you know, not living in the same place as me. It just was not conducive to his growth or my growth. And so uh, we did a lot better being in the same place. So my brother had moved up and basically you know my brother was an athlete for his first two years of high school so he he had to pass his classes you know so he did a little bit better than me and uh the guy told me mr e told me that i was going to graduate with my little brother and i was like i mean I, I was so depressed i was down i didn't know what to do with myself i was like there's no way that i can graduate with my little brother but I didn't say anything. I just kind of sat there and I, I just accepted the fact that, you know, this was really going to suck. And I got up and I walked out and I stood in the hallway and it was this moment of choice. You know, it, everything in your life isn't always going to be handed to you. Sometimes you actually have to fight for what you want and you'll get it. You know, you've heard that saying, you have not because you ask not. You know, sometimes there's people in life that ask for what they want and they don't always get it. But they get it more often than people that wait for stuff to come to them. And so I decided in this moment, I'm just going to ask for what I want. So I went back in his office before he grabbed the next student. I mean, I was in the hallway for like 15, 16 seconds, you know, psyching myself up. <laughs> and I went in there and I said, look, Mr. E, I was like, I can't graduate with my brother. Is there anything that you can do? Is there anything that I can do in order to graduate on time? And he said, I'm glad you asked. Have a seat. So this was like a test that he was doing. He was seeing how badly I wanted to graduate. And if I didn't go back in that office, I would have probably not gotten his suggestion, which was a doozy. So basically, Mr. E said, all right, Anthony, 
here's what you're going to have to do. Now, remember, this is your senior year. Everybody else is going to be skipping class, doing senior skip day. Most of your friends are going to only have five classes. Six was how many you could take. Most of your friends are only going to have five. A lot of them are going to have just four, you know, because they're they're way ahead on credits. They've been doing summer school the whole time, running start, all this craziness, you know, and so they're, they're already, you know, they're they're close to graduating they just need some of the base credits and they're going to be fine and um i was like okay so what do i need to do you know and he's like well you're gonna have to take eight classes every semester so while everybody else is taking four and five you're gonna have to take a full load which is six and you're going to have to find two of your teachers that will let you be TAs and you're going to have to be a teacher's assistant for one class in the morning and one class after school is over and so you're actually going to be at school longer than everybody else but that's the only way you'll get enough credits to walk not graduate we're still going to have to figure out how you can graduate and get your diploma but if you do eight course eight classes per semester you're going to get to walk and I looked at him like, you do know you're talking to a guy who got a 1.27 GPA, averaged a D plus for the first two years of high school. And then this past year, I averaged a B minus C plus. And he was like, well, do you want it or not? And I said, all right. And so he like signed some form that gave me permission to be a teacher's assistant or something like that and so I went to two teachers that I had and one of them I went in the early morning before anybody else was at school and graded papers and then the other one I did the same thing for a different teacher um, so I was in school all day long um, and I still when I got to it was literally like the end of the school year. I had taken eight classes all year long. I did do a couple of senior skip days. Um, <laughs> uh, I just, I, I just had to. I, you know, I had fun. We did senior skip days, and we filled up buckets full of water balloons and just pegged freshmen. I mean, it was fun. And so I had to participate in a couple of them. Um, but I definitely was doing more school than anybody else. And so it came to the end of the year, and the one class that I had slacked off in that I really despised was my science class. And I remember one of my friends actually didn't get to graduate because the same teacher failed him. And me, my buddy, and my other buddy, we all had Ds in her class. And she was like, if you don't get a B or higher on this final test, you literally are not going to pass this class. And my buddy got like a C and he begged and pleaded with her. You know, I'm going to be the first one of my class. to." And she said, no. I'm not doing it and she didn't do it you know he was pissed at the end because when she said no then he just kind of flipped in the wrong direction and <laughs> um, and then one of my other friends didn't really need the class but didn't want to get a bad grade so he ended up getting a B because he got an A on the test um, and me I think I barely by the skin of my chinny chin chin <laughs> passed the class and she told me she said you know you need to apply yourself more and so then I went to Mr. E and I said all right Mr. E I said what are we going to do and Mr. E said, well, you can't do, he said, well, you can do summer school. That's easy. He said, you can do summer school and then you'll get your diploma. And I said, okay, that sounds like a good solution, but I get to walk. And he said, yes, you get to walk with your, with your classmates and you can carry a little piece of paper in your hand, even though it's not going to be a real diploma because you don't get your diploma. And I said, that's fine. As long as I can walk and my family can take pictures of me. Then a little wrench got thrown into the situation when my I applied to a couple of colleges. Crazy, I know, but I did good on the SAT. I think back then, a 1600 was the highest you could get. And this kid who walked out of freshman and sophomore year with a 1.27, I got like a 1250 or something like that on my SAT, which was a really good score. Um, it was funny because it was my first try. I was really tired when I took it. Um, but I did, you know, practice tests and all that kind of stuff. My my church did all these, like, helped me prepare and tutored me. And um, I ended up getting like a 1250. And that put me in a place where even though my grades, my GPA was still not good at, at, by any means. I think I graduated with like a 2.4. But if a school would take that low of a GPA, my uh, SAT score would at least get them interested. Or even if they accepted like a 2.6, even though I had a 2.4, they might take me. And so the, lo and behold, there was a school in Ohio. Uh, it's called Wilberforce University. 
and I got an acceptance letter from them and I hid it because I thought it was a no and my mom found it in the drawer and pulled it out and saw it and just jumped up and down screaming in the kitchen and I was like what is wrong with you and she was like you're going to college and then she called all of my family um, to tell them that I got accepted and nobody understood how in the world little Anthony got accepted to college but here's the thing in order to go to college the college said he's gonna have to take these prep courses this summer just so we know that he's ready for college because his grades you know are his first two years of grades are really bad and they wanted to make sure that I was gonna be a good student and so now I had the conundrum of I have to go to summer school at my high school to get my diploma but my college is telling me that I have to go to summer school there in order to get into college but if I don't go to summer school in high school then I don't get a diploma and I can't go to college without a diploma so I'm basically like how can I be in two places at once so my mom and I you have not because you asked not my mom and I went up to my high school and we told them the scenario and we talked to Mr. E, Mr. E talked to the principal, and I think they had to get this signed off by the school board. But they told me that somehow they were going to do this. They would count the courses that I took in college in Ohio towards my diploma. And if I passed every single class, I was taking three courses, and I had to pass every single college course. And if I did, that would give me enough credits to graduate from high school and that diploma would give me what I needed to get into college and passing those classes would let the college know that I was ready to go to college. So I went to this summer program, there was not that very many students that went to it and I passed every single class with flying colors and then your boy Kingdom Soldier waltzed his way onto a college campus. If you've learned nothing else from this episode of TKS, ask for what you want in life. Ask for what you want. When you have an opportunity, don't hope that it's going to happen. Let hope be an action word. Let hope push you into actually doing something. If you hope for something, then ask for it, and maybe you'll get it. This is your boy, Kingdom Soldier, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll tell you about all my crazy college exploits. <laughs> Peace.